What's going on Airsofters? My name is Matt and today we're going to be doing another behind the scenes episode. But this time, we're going to be doing it for Operation Iron Horse. Our first behind the scene episode was for Operation Ironclad 2. And uh, we asked you guys if you guys wanted to see more videos like that. And the, uh, the response we got on that video was actually overwhelmingly positive. You guys really liked that episode. So um, obviously, as I said, we're going to be doing this for Operation Iron Horse. And we're extremely stoked about this. Um, we got a huge stack roster for this time. We got myself, Daniel, Jojo, new member of the team, Tyler, um, Nick. And we've got a couple other special guests coming on with our squad too. we got Snoopy, you may know him, he's got his own YouTube channel. P90 Girl, she's Instagram famous, you probably do know her. And Tony, that's a Snoopy's a friend, and they play a lot of CQB at um, Miami Airsoft down in, obviously, Miami. Now what's special about this event is it's going to be a massive 250 on 250 player event, which is insane. I think for Ironclad 2, it was only 150 versus 150, so 100 extra players on both sides in comparison to the one we went before, and it's going to be absolutely insane. The event will be held at the Guardian Training Center in Perry, Georgia. Now, the facility is used to train uh, first responders and active military personnel for um, natural disasters, potential terrorist attack, things like that that could potentially go wrong in the United States. The best way I can describe it to you is, is a miniature city. It's got blocks, all these cars scattered around the place. It's just absolutely massive and we will be leaving here tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. all right guys we'll keep you guys updated a little further down the road see you guys later i'm gonna look like a total total floridian while i'm in georgia you know that right we're all gonna look like I floridians have... we don't know i'm not built for this cold weather man i'm built to withstand temperatures exceeding 95 degrees fahrenheit i'm not built for this 50 degree bs we're doing this time differently is we're bringing a locked up a lock up cooler because last time everyone was going through all of our stuff and drinking it and eating it who had the really good idea over the skype call to put like on the water jugs like <laughs> someone says has aids or has hiv or something like that and then if anyone writes down the jug they'd be like i ain't drinking of that man no way okay so one of the problems we're going to be contending with when we go to iron horse is the cold because as tyler says here he does not like what sub 60 uh sub 60 is a little cold sub 60 is a little cold so what we got here well i got at least are these shamogs it's basically a tactical scarf and that's going to work beautifully also if you want to look like a terrorist this is a great way to do it Mr. Tyler, is 6.30. Okay. It's time to wake up now. I've been awake for a while. It's time to wake up. Okay, so I'm going to wake up. <laughs> Sleep well? Kind of, sort of, but not at all. Kind of, sort of, not at all? All right. 6.30 a.m. Friday, February 21st. 6th? Question mark? Yeah, okay, so Daniel and Jojo are gonna be here in about 30 minutes. We're gonna pack up the car and then it's up to Perry. Yay! This morning stuff for the birds, man. It's too cold here. You can see my breath. This is Florida still. Come on, people. We're supposed to be like 80 plus. I ain't doing this. I'm gonna die. I ain't making it. I don't know how we're gonna survive the night off, dude. Why you're wearing shorts? I, there's no way. It's supposed to be going down to a low of 30. Holy I swear. I do not have <laughs> We're gonna die. We're not gonna make it. Well, whoever survives can have the channel. <laughs> Someone has to take it over, man. The show must go on. So guess who's late? Daniel! It's okay, man. We forgive you. That's why I told you to be here extra early, so I knew you'd be late. See, I'm always thinking one step ahead. Good God. Do you guys think we have enough luggage? Tyler's yeah. straight thugging right now. Did you hear the low? It's going down to 30. That's what I'm We're really gonna die. He's like, I got on the road again. You guys ready? Daniel gave these Russian candies and they're Stop crazy. Daniel, they're well. Why are they fizzing? Because it has a fizz inside. They're called Shaboshkis. <laughs> Very good. These are this Ukrainian? Yeah, well, it's it's a Ukrainian uh, candy, but they're made by a Russian company. Here we go. Yeah, well, Do this. What's the worst thing you've forgotten to an event? My gun. You forgot your gun? Yeah. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. I remember that. I think it was a battery one. On a time I forgot my battery. You forgot your battery? I've forgotten the cameras before. And then that was when you drove back to get them for yeah, us. Thank God you saved us. That. that was episode, I think, six, actually, on DV8. I remember that one very distinctly. I make this list. I made this list online. It basically just has everything that I normally bring to events. I put check marks on it. And then when we leave the field, I kind of just dash everything out, make sure I forget, didn't forget anything. And if I forgot anything, I can then zero it down. And especially for you guys that like to lose my stuff, I put the stuff I'm lending you guys out here and then. I know if I didn't get it back, then he owes me five bucks. You told me the story about this 
the um, oh, Stanley yeah, Cup 2004 that. lightning tickets. Yeah, I lost that ticket. Oh my god, didn't you say you had it in an envelope on your inside jacket and it, it fell, fell out? out and it would actually run over. Oh my god. I found it in the road. <laughs> <laughs> it was crushed and I took it out. It had rain and I actually dried it off with a hair dryer and they took it. With a little negotiation, they accepted the valid <laughs> ticket. And the lightning won the Stanley Cup in 04. And then I lost our parking ticket once. Yes. That was the funniest thing, though. I said, Daniel, one job. Hold on to this parking ticket. We went to go. What movie was it? It was Black Mass. That yeah, was actually pretty good. good that was a good movie. So we go to the parking garage, and they give us this little ticket, right? So I'm like, Daniel, here's the ticket. Hold on to the ticket. Daniel takes the ticket. He's like, I got it. Don't worry about it. Like, I got it. You got this, man. You got this. So we get back into the car. We're driving down the ramp. Like, all right, Daniel, I need the it's ticket now. And Daniel goes, okay, it's in my wallet. Opens up his wallet. Not the wallet. I'm like, Daniel. The car start moving one at a time, itching up like Daniel. Where's the ticket? He's like, oh, don't worry, it's in my back. It's probably in one of my pockets. Yeah, Shuffle through all the pockets, yeah, can't find anything. Don't, don't <laughs> and then at this it's point, pocket, right? <laughs> and at this worry. point, it's like two don't cars away it. from the toll booth. I'm like, Daniel, I need the ticket, or I'm paying five bucks. And he's like, so at this point, we're scrambling. I can't find the ticket. <laughs> is it in the door pocket? Is it under anything? And then we get up there, and he's like, I can't find it. I lost it. <laughs> then two minutes down the road, Daniel goes. Wait a second, it's under my leg. He's yeah. sitting on the ticket. I, I had the ticket. I didn't. You have it. He didn't lose it. He didn't lose it. Just use it. couldn't C9. present it at the time of need. <laughs> Some, um, who's a, who's a celebrity count for this one? I always like to see what like airsoft um, celebrities we got going. We have for this. Jet. We have. Oh, Jet's uh, confirmed going. Yeah, Jet okay. is going. So is Nabrich. Nabrich. Um, his first time in America, I believe. Right? Yeah, this is that's first, pretty exciting. Came to, well, Adela Relentless, obviously. Yep. And no wait, no, she's not going. I think she's oh, out. Oh. I was reading her um, Instagram thing. I think I think it's because she's pregnant. Oh. I think that's what it is. We got P90 girl on our squad. Yay! Uh, Evic Matt's coming. Evic Matt? Okay. Well, I mean, those giveaways, too. I'm looking forward to that as well. The oh, energy. the giveaways are, like, worth... There. Yeah, the yeah. giveaway is almost worth the entire ticket. Like, the the guy next to us, our squad... Yeah, Warhammer got the... Hammer. Yeah, the, there was a medic in our squad from Ironclad 2 last year. His name was Hammer, and he's sitting right next to us. He won an H&K Polar Star 416. Yeah, the giveaways are crazy, and I think this one's going to be bigger because this is going to be like a 500 player event. I think they're going to have some pretty big prizes. Yeah, yeah. And then just the stuff they throw into the audience. Oh, he's throwing threw, goggles no, into the audience. Just, they didn't just, hey, call up a number. No, they threw goggles. tons of $60 Smith Optics goggles into the crowd. Yeah, like, just throwing them like, take them, you, pheasants. You ever notice when you play for these events, like the OD Green team? It's always, tan team will always have like the really decked out super operator tactical guys. Like, and then you get to the green team where it's just a guy that like went to an army navy surplus store and like, yep, this looks good. Let's go mill some guys. It's great though because it's awesome when you beat the guys that are like SEAL team 6 versus like redneck, and, redneck Ron. And, <laughs> and. All right, so out of this car, who here is an IHOP fan and who here is a wall oh, house? House. No! No! Petri dish! Y'all are unsanitary. Have you not had IHOP's chocolate chip chocolate pancakes? No. It's literally chocolate pancakes with chocolate chips in them with chocolate syrup. It's literally diabetes on a plate. Delicious. We should take a vote on on IHOP or Waffle House. No, we're not. Okay. <laughs> Alright, you know what? Comment below right now. Waffle House or IHOP? I want to see. I wanna, we're going to settle this. We'll let the Guys, viewers Waffle decide. House no! 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 I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Hey, we're going to Waffle House. It's been confirmed. I Thank you for it. your votes. I ain't eating. I'm, you been submitted. I'm fasting. No, <laughs> I see the sign now. What do you guys want me to write on your tombstone? Oops. What is this in my waffle? I ain't doing it. No. Nope. Are you really not going to eat it? No. I'm not eating that. <laughs> okay, Matt. No, 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 you gotta, you gotta I'm trust not us. doing it. I ain't trusting nobody. Have you been there? Nope. I'm, I have been there twice. A charm. A charm? Third, Third time's a charm me to die. You must have a but stomach what you, of iron. What you like the most, Matt, is the uh, waker with the hairy armpits. Ah, it's all natural. It's that is natural. So true. Don't ever go to France. Uh, <laughs> at the wall. Why do you guys hate hey, me? It's not connected to a truck stop. Just that's shut right. up! Uh, got it, man. Thank you. Yep. So we did.
I'll probably die in a few hours. There was a hair in my food. We put that in your food, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was a plant. It was a plant. Like you guys are that coordinated, right? All right. It wasn't all that bad. These Russian candies are really good. But I'm starting to question what that white stuff on the inside is. Don't you say anything. <laughs> Look at it go. It was a whole for bread. up. Up. How's it feel to stretch your legs? I can actually feel my kneecaps now. Oh. oh my god. Daniel, look at this. The game has been changed forever. It's like the crunchy peanut butter. Dude, I'm so down. For 189 cents, that can be all yours. <laughs> this is only $419. <laughs> no, it says dollar signs in front of it. No point. There's no period, so it's just $419. I know the economy is rough, but I didn't know it was that bad. I can either get this to go to iron or all right, we're gonna play a little bit of a game here. So me and Daniel played this um, one night, I forget how long ago it was, but basically we do separate categories of, um, say, small arms, okay? So for example, we said you can have any submachine gun in the world, but you can only have one to deal with the zombie apocalypse or whatever scenario else we say. You can only have one, what weapon would it be and why? Then we have to debate which one we have, then we have to debate between each other, all right? All right, we're gonna be doing, um, film guns. Any gun from any, like, animated series or movie? I got it. You got one? All right. So I got mine. I got All right. mine. mine, and Daniel already knows this one. The Black Lagoon M9. If you guys know what those are, we can be friends. But that's my guess. All right. Um, what about you, Dad? Quickly down under the sharp. So oh, that gun. Uh, yes, the sharps rifle. Oh, uh, you guys have not seen Quickly Down Under? Like watch that. Oh, I think it's so cool. Mark up to 700. <laughs> what about you, Dan? Dirty Harry's 44. Oh, nice. Here we are. This is one of those events you pull one oh into it and you can see how epic this place is. <laughs> This is our Russian liquor store. Some we have vodka. We have vodka. vodka. We, have rum. we have rum, which is not Russian, but I will not knock it. Alcohol. In gameplay, you can take bottle and stick it on the end of gun, and you have Russian vodka gun. Resisting arrest. <laughs> hold on, hold on, Matt. Let me put you in the cop car real quick. No, no, no. I want to read your Miranda rights. That's today on Bad Boys, right? On here. Cops. On Cops, whatever. Some kind of show. Strip search him or whatever. Okay. Strip search him. Resisting Gentlemen, I think I'll call that a successful Very evening. Successful. Yeah. Okay. Went to, checked out the entire AO. Went well, to the we mission briefing. Got our weapons chronographed. And now it's back onto the uh, hotel and then... Edible Something products. To eat. Something to yeah. eat. I'm down for that. <laughs> the boy! What does that mean? <laughs> the boy, <Suka! laughs> oh my god. Well, we made it to the hotel. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, 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 Yes. It was everyone Hello. okay. No, you can I no come and sign it and tell you tiny cool. Uh, no, you can no sell me Chinese. Do you want an egg roll? No, no, egg no. roll free. No, egg no, roll. No, no, I tell you egg roll. No egg roll. No, no, no. No Girl Scouts sell me no egg roll today. No. Chinese you have cookies? You know cookies, no cookies. I want some Chinese. I can not tell I can't feel my fingertips. Are you just a dad? Tyler, is that you? Hello. <laughs> I can't see anything. Is that you, Joe? Oh, I haven't seen it's you. It's not even cold. I haven't seen you in 30 years. Why is it not snowing? 
because it's not 32 degrees and it's not raining. Lies. You believe anything that the thermometer tells you, it's all a lie. Uh, they just arrived at the hotel, going down to meet them now. Looks like I had a nick. Evening. How's it going? I'm not at PCC. <laughs> This place. Dude, I didn't even get someone to cover my security shift Sunday. It's just like, <laughs> I'm out. So today is Saturday, February 27th, uh, 8-12. We're getting some breakfast now. Look at that. Look at that. Are you kidding me? All right, you guys ready? Y'all stoked? Tyler, how stoked are you? I'm very excited. Very stoked. You should be very excited. Come on, man. Show some life. Yeah, I'm stoked going? at the coal furnace and the locomotive. <laughs> Ready to go? Ready. Let's do this. Does this look like appropriate headgear? <laughs> totally tactical, man. Uber tactical. Is it apparent I'm not coping well with the cold weather? You guys ready? Darn right. I'm ready. Let's do this. Do this. See, when you push UFS back into their own spawn, you get to lounge. It is tactical camera. Here, here, we're gonna we're gonna make you look classy. Okay. This is oh gonna yeah, be yeah, yeah. In your in your yeah, Molly man. webbing. It's important. You gotta look cool. Yeah. We're cocky as hell right now. <laughs> no, we're just waiting on UFS to do something because we pushed them back pretty darn far and we're holding this building right classy here. Classy as hell. Um, can I look starting, sounds there like they're getting a little more aggressive, so we're gonna cut off here and get back to you guys later. See ya. It's awkward now, it's alright. It has to be awkward, or else it didn't happen.